Yes, he can keep calling them the filth, and they don't like it. So we've got to get this lot washed and iron. Why do they want you to do your... Isn't that my line? Hey, Polly. Polly, Polly, Polly. Polly I'm sure I said that last well, week. Dave should be doing this. Why isn't he here? Look, just carry on. Come on, come on, come on. Now! Get washing! Wishy-washy. Great! Great! It's only a joke. Come on, come on. I'm I'm sorry. It's all right, Paul. It'll be great. You know what they say, a bad dress rehearsal, good first night. It'll be fine tomorrow. It's tomorrow now! <laughs> you all right, oh. home? God, stop me nose from running. Oh, your mascara. Oh, I thought I'd cut it off. Yeah, but you're going to be all right for tonight, aren't you? Oh, I'll have to be. Show must go on. <laughs> hey, Tony, yeah. didn't recognise you without your dress, mate. Yeah, all right. That does How was oh, the uh, dress rehearsal, Polly? Oh, it went on a bit, sir. Oh, oh no, it didn't. Oh, oh yes, it did. Oh, Save no, it, it for tonight. Uh, we're all looking forward to your debut as a director. Has anyone seen Sergeant Cryer? Oh, all right, that's enough. Now, I know you've all put a lot of effort into the pantomime, but for the next eight hours, you're police officers, not lovies. Is that understood? <laughs> oh, Sarge, any chance of me sticking this in one of the cells? Number three. Uh, oh, Sarge, um, how come you're working in costume? Just doing my bit, you know. Oh, yeah. Which bit is that? Sir. Polly. Yes, sir? I forgot to say, uh, Mr. Brown, I want a word with you at 10.45. Would you know what it's about, sir? The show, I should think. Yes, sir. Uh, apart from seeing him, I want you concentrating on your work and not what's happening tonight. Yes, sir. Oh, but I've got to see the man from the council at the church hall. As long as it's during refs. Left, right, left. Will right. you get off? George, mate, look. Come on, try it again. Bridge, Once no. more. No, I'm not left. Doing it. With the left. Lead with the left. What is this? Oh, which see, it's the cow. Sir. The cow? Yes, sir. Well, it didn't go too well last night. You know, in rehearsals. In fact, Mr. Conway said it was utter chaos. Did you listen to a word I said during parade? Yes, sir. So, we were just leaving. Good. George, look, try it with the head on. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Find yourself a new front end. George! George! Mate! George! Oh, Paul, you couldn't with it, could you? Look, Reg, if it's about the cow, I don't want to know. Yeah, well, look, I need me end scene too, and George has pulled out again. I'll talk to him, all right? Polly, my costume. I've spoken to Sergeant Boyd, and it hasn't arrived yet. So when do I see it? Well, when it turns up, I know you're worried, but... Well, if I don't see it soon, I won't be there tonight. Nori, it will be here, honest. George! No, I'm not doing it. Four hours stuck inside a cowhide with Reg. It's enough for a lifetime, isn't it? I'll never get anyone else now. I don't care. I've had it up to here with the whole thing. Well, how do you think I feel? Listen to this. Wishy-washy. I'm going to call my cow Ping Pong. Widow Twanky. Why is that? Wishy-washy. Because she's got a bell around her neck that goes ping, and if you walk behind her, there's a terrible pong. You wrote this, did you? Yes. Oh, blimey. So all that bashing away on the typewriter for the last couple of weeks hasn't been for transcripts or case notes, it's been for this, isn't it? Call my cow Ping Pong. Well, it was going to be a camel, but we couldn't get the costume, so it's now a cow. Right. Well, don't give up a day job. In fact, you could even start trying to do a day job. Or we'll have you on tenure, mate. All right, ready to go, Rob? Yeah, Gov, yeah. Got your tickets for tonight? Well, I can't actually go. Well, you can still buy one, isn't it, Fiverr? Oh, look, look, I've only got a ten. Bring a friend. Carl's waiting for us downstairs, so I'll see you there in five minutes. Oi! You've just paid for those. Yeah. Doesn't mean I have to go, though, does it? Do you think the palace will fall down again tonight? Probably. But I won't be under it this time. Was it really that bad? Yes, it was. Well, look, Paul, it's not your fault. You can't exactly tell your chief inspector is rubbish, can you? Rod, what have you got? Jason Harper. Got into a rut with a bloke in a bar. He used a seven-inch diver's knife on him. 130 stitches to put him back together. Oh, what have you got? Oh, Joyce. Joyce? You never come across him. He likes to wear gear like that. And he doesn't usually bother paying for it. 
I hear you're not averse to a bit of cross-dressing yourself. Tonight is a one -off. Yeah, let's hope so. I've read the script. <sighs> Might not be Shakespeare. It's not that bad. Well, I don't know. Certain similarities between Tosh and Shakespeare. They're both bald brummies with tashes, and they've both done sod all for hundreds of years. Please <laughs> <laughs> <Is> extend. <he> <coughs> Done a rudder. Who's that? Joyce. I don't think I'm going to make it through this evening. This is chronic. Anyway, I'm off. <coughs> I'll be a better luck with yours. <coughs> luck doesn't come into it. Watertight, mate. Watertight. Oh, cheer up, Paul. Panto's only a bit of a laugh, anyway, isn't it? 469 from Sierra Oscar. Go ahead, Sarge. Location 10 Wayman Street, Dearden's Food Market. We've got a suspected shoplifter. The informant is a Miss Dearden. Over. Received. And Polly, there's a message from Tony. He's lost his voice. He's not going to be able to do the show tonight. <laughs> well, can I talk to him? Well, you wouldn't be able to hear him, I'm afraid. Well, how am I going to find another widow twanky now? Well, Rich. No. All right, all right. Look. Don't worry about it. We'll sort something out. Aren't you supposed to be seeing Mr. Brownlow soon? Oh, I forgot. It's all right, I'll drop you off on the way. Reg! Oh, well. Yes, sir? Put it away. Yes, sir. Reg! Yes, sir? You're home. I'm looking forward to this evening. Mr. Conway seems to think it's going to be a memorable event. Yes, sir. I'd uh, like to bring a couple of guests. Are you tickets left? Oh. No, okay. Well, the DI's got some. Would you like me to ask him? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Come in. There's um, a couple of things about the script I wanted to mention. You know I've made one or two suggestions to Tosh already. Well, yes, sir. He was very grateful. Come round. Reading it over, there was... Uh, one thing that concerned me. There's a tradition at these sort of events of making fun of senior officers. Oh, we've tried to be careful, sir. <laughs> yes, I can see that. I'm sure there's nothing in there that would offend anyone. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Sir? No, there's no mention of Mr. Conway in here, so I've written in a couple of suggestions. Right, thanks, sir. Ah, good luck. We'll need it. Mr. Brownlow has been through that with the old blue pencil, has he? Yes, sir. Anything that affects me? Not your part, sir, no. That's all right, then, isn't it? Here, Tosh. What's that? Some suggestions from Mr. Brownlow. Oh, no, not more. At this rate, he'll have written more of it than me. Well, that's your problem. I've got to find a widow twanky. What about Reg? No. I've got to get over to the church hall for the fire inspection. Basically, they had the turkeys out of the freezer and into the trolley, and they were off. And there were three of them? What, turkeys? No, kids. Oh, yeah, just the three of them came in, but outside? Well, I'll show you the tape. Right, look, just there. There they are, helping themselves, you see? Pretty sharp, aren't they? I wonder if they do this every Christmas. Right, there they go. Look, bold as brass. They know exactly what they're doing. Straight right to the door, look. That's them there, leaving the store. Now, who's that? Well, I thought Santa was supposed to deliver stuff, not nick it. Oh, I've heard all that from the staff. Santa's little helpers helping themselves, and, uh, oh, he won't have any trouble keeping the turkeys frozen in the North Pole. But that's a hundred pounds worth of my stock in that trolley. Thank you. Skase. Are you talking to me? About my brother. Your brother. Jason Harper. You tell Deakin, there's no way Jason's going down. I'll have him. Well, you're wasting your time because he is going to go down, so excuse me. Listen, I bet take your hand off. Rod, where you been? I was looking for you, Gov. 
Harper's brothers outside, mouthing off about you. Kieran. Yeah, do you know? Yeah. I nicked him at SO8. I thought he was still banged up. What was he in for? Doing the security guard's legs. That's an affair, man. All you can say for the security guard after Kieran had finished with him. One of them's going to kill someone, though, these days. When are we on? Oh, I've got to ask the client. You check those exhibits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under control. No problem. Josh, it's Rod. Do us a favour, will you? Get hold of Tony for me. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, my horn seemed to. Yeah, very nice. Oh, George. Look, it winks and all now, mate. Have another go. No, no, Rich, I'm not doing it. George! Ah, oh, morning. Are you Joe Miller? Yeah. Uh, you've been helping Sergeant Boyden out with the costumes for the pantomime, is that right? Yeah. Sorry it's taken so long. Matt's done more than I have. He's very hands-on. Yeah, he uh, likes to get involved. You come to collect them, then? Uh, no, no, this is to do with a theft we're investigating. Uh, we're looking for someone who might have hired out a Santa outfit. Get him down a chimney, then, did he? No. Sorry. No, it's all right. I've had that ever since I put out the description. Uh, have you got a list of people who have hired out Santa costumes? Yeah, hold on. I've got ten or more of these going out at the moment. OK, he's about six foot, medium build? Sounds nice. This is Miss Santa list for the last week. Right. You can wait till he brings back the costume if you want. You having an audience for this? Yeah. How many? Well, about 200. You're joking? No. In here, there's only one fire exit. It's 80 maximum. 80? They get far more than that in here. Not with the back doors closed off. They don't. It's 80. Top whack. Yeah, but it's for charity. It doesn't make the building any more fireproof. Here's your certificate. But this means we can't do it. You'll think of something. <sighs> Got a bit pear shaped, Miss Panto, innit? I'm not going to cancel. Turkeys. What? We're looking for kids who nick them. Where? Well, I've thought of a way we might be able to find them. <sighs> Are you coming, Polly? Josh. Well, how long is that going to take? Tosh, I'm not panicking. Tosh! This is a waste of time. Look, Polly, I know you've got better things to do, but this is our job. Yeah, but that woman from the costume hire shop, she's hired out 35 Santa outfits. Are we going to check on all of them? Yeah, if we have to. We don't even know if it came from her shop. Mr Paul? Yeah? I'm PC Garfield from Sunhill Police Station. We're investigating an incident concerning someone wearing a Santa outfit. Can we come in, please? Can you tell us what you've been doing this morning? Been here. What's this about? Uh, you hired that costume at, at 9.30. Oh, shush. I don't want the kids to know about it. It's a surprise. Yes. What was that? What? Excuse us, please. What do you think you're doing? Our freezer's filled up, so take it as finance. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get these from? The shop. Nick them, did you? No. Whose idea was this, then? You told us to! Oh, Dad! Right, that's enough. Do you want to tell us where you got these turkeys from? All I know is I gave him the money to buy a turkey. I never said nothing about a garden, fool. Oh, it's Christmas. We want everyone to have turkeys. Yeah. Where's the arm in that? It's against the law and I'm arresting you for theft. Josh, have you got it? No. Oh. What? Hold it, hold it, you're breaking up. Hello? Tosh. Well, how long now? It sounds like a character out of Aladdin. How long now, brother of who flung dung? <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll be about 30 seconds. Yes. <sighs> oh, no. I thought you said you were going to keep this with you all the time because of Kieran. Yeah, well, I had my eye on the door, didn't I? Yeah? Well, let's check. What's going on, Rod? Uh, sorry, Gov. There's, uh, there's been a bit of a cock-up. No, really? Yeah. 
Did you know that Rod's our new widow twanky? No. Yes, well, uh, Tony's lost his voice, so Rod's stepping into his shoes. These shoes? Yes, Gov, yes. Uh, we wanted it to be a surprise. It certainly is. Where's my exhibit? Well, well what happened was that uh, I said I'd bring the costume over for Rod, Rod to try on, and, uh, of course, he, he didn't have time, so, uh, so I said I'd take them back to the Nick, and, uh, stupidly, he, he picked up the wrong box, and, uh, uh, and uh, he's, he's left you holding the, um, the, uh... The bra. Got it on, yes. Uh, these are your exhibits. Good. Because I want to be called in about 30 seconds. Oh. Cheers, mate. I know you won. Ah! No, no, it's all right. We're all square. But you'll need this. What? Your script. <laughs> no, you're joking. Uh -huh. What? Go on. <laughs> Yeah, so you've definitely got King Lear in tonight then, have you? Yeah, I see. Hello, thank you very much. Uh. Reg, the hmm? National Theatre. Oh, yeah, well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Sorry, sir. Any luck yet, Reg? Oh, uh, no, sir. How about you? No. Go oh, hello. Uh, yes, it's Reg Hollins here at Sun Hill. Um, have you got anything on at the moment? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean at your theatre tonight. It's for the police pantomime, is it? Yes, I'm confusing. I shouldn't have explained. Don't tell me. He parked his sleigh on a red route. Oi! Oi! Out! Out! Now! Move! Go on! Get out of there! Go on! What's this for? It's for a pantomime. Can I get? No, you can't. Now, go over there. Ah, oh, Polly. Could I, uh, have a word? Hey, hey, leave those papers on. One of my guests wants to bring his grandchildren with a pantomime. Is that a problem? Um, we're going to have to move it to another hall, sir. Oh, well, let me know where it is, will you? Yes, sir. Polly, we got a suspect, ten rapidly defrosting turkeys, three uncontrollable children, and a hacked-off custody sergeant waiting for us. All right. When you're ready. What about the Canley Fields drop-in centre? Well, can't they move the assertiveness training workshop? Oh, all right, all right. Let me know when they've made a decision. Thank you. Bye. Yes! I'm busy, Reg. Sir, I've uh, had this idea. Do you understand the conditions of your bail? Yeah. Can I have my beard back? You have to return in three weeks' time. WPC Page will show you out. Right, let's go. Aladdin and his blue lamp. A laddie. Kelly. I'm going to see it. Well, you can't. Come on. Yeah, too right, you can't. It's not going to happen now, is it? Why, Reg, on the case? Oh, yeah. Him finding another hall is about as likely as me getting back into that cow costume again. I'll tell him. Holly, any news about the hall? I've got to make some calls, but I need to get a breath of fresh air first. Is this going to happen? <sighs> no. I've let everyone down, haven't I? No, you've not. I really am sorry. Holly, can I have a word, please? Look, sir, I'm sorry, but tonight it's all cancelled. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> I can't do it! Of course you can, of course you can. Stick your boobs out and all. How am I going to learn all these lines? Well, Tony didn't have a problem with it. If you're not up to it... Right, go on, give me the line, give me no, the line. All right, all right, all right. Why do they want you to do their dirty work? Don't tell me. No, it's all right, it's all right. No, no. They saw my advertisement in the local newspaper Get your washing done by Peking's favourite old scrubber. Yes. Yeah. Very good, Rod. He's a natural golf. Is there any chance of us being called yet? No. The judge has probably got a very important golf match on. He's adjourned the trial till tomorrow. Oh, no. Well, everything we've done today has been a complete waste of time. Well, I wouldn't say that. We've got a twanking. We can go to rehearsals. Here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a walk gun. That's great. Dick you. You stay out of that window. Hey, 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 h
I'll, I'll do it! Whatever it takes to stop you, I'll do it! Kieran, go home. Come on. Go on. Get home. The, uh, the management here said they might be able to do something for us. But I don't understand. It's one of Reggie's suggestions. See what you think, anyway. Yeah, but will it be big enough for our audience? Well, I don't think there'll be a problem. I'll show you. June! OK! Oh! <gasps> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, thanks, sir. Well, if you're happy with it, I'll arrange for all the props and everything to be brought over from the church hall, won't it? What about our scenery? It'll be too small. Well, it seems that they've got a production of Aladdin coming in. They're going to let us use their scenery. Oh, oh sir. How did you pull it off? Team effort, Polly. And I think Reg has got a magic lamp hidden somewhere. You are a genius. Thanks, Reg, mate. Uh, oh. Wrong end. <laughs> George. You owe me, Polly. It's big, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic! Yes. But we haven't got a widow twanky. Oh. June. I can't leave them outside any longer. We just have to busk it. We can't. It's not church hall now. Look, you'll be great. You just do your best, yeah? Hey! Looks good from up here. Look, can you come down from up there, please? It's for theatre staff only. All right. When's he going to learn to act like an adult? It'd be nice if he could act at all. Tony, will you leave him alone, please? He's got enough to remember as it is. Now, come on. Polly. You all right? Yeah. You nervous? Yeah. I mean, look, being in this place, everyone's going to expect a professional show, aren't they? We'll give them one. Yeah, I hope so. Excuse me, pop them back. Go, but we need them. No, you don't. Now, pop them back. Ha! And perhaps you could uh, show us to our seats. Yes, sir. Um, you're in the raw box. Um, would you like to follow me? I didn't realise there was music as well. Yes, sir. They're called the Bumble Beetles. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all working on Operation Bumble. <laughs> Good job they're not working on Operation Eagle Eye. Oh, they could call themselves the Operation Eagles. Yes, but there's not a group called the Eagles, is there? It's through there, sir. Didn't realise you'd invited the AC, sir. Yes. Well, I thought it was a good idea for him to see how people do their best. Do you think I should tell Polly? No, I don't think so. She's got enough on her plate. Oh, you might remind her it's essential that no theatre property gets damaged. Sir? Well, it's my name on the indemnity form. Any damage, I have to pay for it in my own pocket. There's two goldfish in a tank. One of them turns to the other and says, Do you know how to drive this thing? You think that's funny? No. What are you going to do about it? Well, we can rewrite it. In half an hour? I've got a few ideas. A pint of lager and a large Irish, please. Same for me, please. Right. Well, it tasted like a prawn. <laughs> uh, where's Matt? Um, end of the corridor in the wardrobe, sir. Thanks. <laughs> Matthew. Sir? Uh, this is Jo. Uh, she's dressing. Helping with the dressing. The actors. I manage the costume hire shop. Pleased to meet you. Can I have a word? Marika's very upset about a costume. You need to sort it out. Oh, sir. And uh, everyone's entitled to a bit of fun at Christmas, but just watch it, all right? I can really do without a sexual harassment complaint. If Tony Stan gives me any more advice, I'm going to swing for him. Got to get those hormones under control, Rod. Or do you prefer Rhoda? And that is my eyeliner. Very nice. Sarge, I'm supposed to be Princess Lychee, not something off page three. All right, I'll find you something else. With a skirt. With a skirt. <sighs> <laughs> you can't change the script now, Gov. Yeah, I'll show you what I've done. What's that? Whoops. Oh. Oh. 
Josh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've taken out the two goldfish in the tank! The two goldfish in the tank? Yes! <laughs> Everyone on stage for the opening number, please! Everyone on stage for the opening number! We've got to sort out the script first. All right, we'll do it the way it was. They would have got my stuff. Look, there's no time for this. I need you on stage now. All right? Hang on! Hang on! <laughs> What? No, no, please, please. please. Ready? I was. No. <laughs> I've got another one in my pocket. Can I help you? No. What are you doing here then? Cup with the cows that gave us some tickets. Well, on that ticket is a seat number. Find it and get near. This way. This is all I could find. Oh, it's better than nothing, and I've got all of two minutes to get changed. It's locked. Oh. It's locked! <laughs> that would teach a copper. <laughs> right, we'll get started as soon as we can get everyone in one place. Yes. Okay. If you want me to help. Oh, thanks, sir, yeah. How's the makeup, Polly? Lovely, lovely. <sighs> right, has anybody seen Narika? No. I'll find her. Oi, oi, what are you doing? Getting into my palm. Then take your hand off mine. It's coming. Careful! It's coming! Oh. 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 You're wanted on stage, Narika. Yeah, as soon as I'm dressed, sir. Dodgy doorknob. Is there some sort of problem? I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll find out. Come on, Lloyd! I'm sorry, Park. Why do we do this? Charity. Oh, it's not just that we're off our heads, eh? That's well. Right, ready? Now remember, plenty of energy. Good luck. I think I'm going to be sick. All right, lads? Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Well, never mind. A one, two, three, four. We're all going on a pantal holiday fun and love to pour an hour or two. We're all going on a lighting cue seven, go, go, go. It's up to them now. Oh, I hope it'll be all right. We're going where the love's so plenty. Oh, uh, excuse me, mate. Do you work here? Yeah. So I wonder if you could help me. Um, I need some tape. You see, my uh, horn's come up. Try it down there. Oh, right. Oh, well, I suppose I should have used cow gum, really. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad. You never have any pincing in the sleigh, aren't you? I thought you was a racehorse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've been mooning around after that Princess Lai again, haven't you? Oh. Oh, yes, you have. Oh, oh, yes, you have. Oh, enough of this. We've got work to do. I've been giving all this washing to do from Sun Hill Police Station. She got the knickers from the nick. What's happened to those, then? Those? Those are Mr Conway's. Look, they're all worn through because he's always sitting on his... He's always sitting down. <laughs> What's that? These. These are Mr. Conway's too. Well, how do you know that? Because they're a little behind the times. Did you write this? No. Well, it's one of Mr. Brownlow's improvements to the, the script. Bill. Yeah, people keep calling right. them filth, but they don't like that, so they've given us all this washing to do. He's not as good as you would have been, Tone. You? Wishy washy? Get wishy washy! Uh, uh, uh. I don't want to. The washing machine doesn't like me. 
Washing machine. He doesn't like you. What do you mean he doesn't like you, you stupid boy? Well, I'll show you. Every time I put the washing in, it does that to me. Rubbish! You're doing it wrong. Give me the washing. Right, watch. You take the washing and you put it in. Come on, Jack. Soak it. Clear off. Get out of it, Jack. Morons. It does that to you. Uh, right. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> I didn't see him coming. Shall I? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, oh no, 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 you don't. Yes, I do. I love it. Yes, Mother. Would you do your poor old mother a favour and put the washing in the washing machine, please? Bridge, can't we take yeah. this thing off? And uh, just put a whiskey down there for me for later. Oh, cheers, Derek. Can I go now? Oh, yes, go on, off you go, off you go. I'll do everything myself. Look, she's left a sock. Now get yourself cleaned up for the next scene, yeah? yeah. You stick in that script book? Uh, my script, not yours. No, no, it's not on mine. Mr Brownlow wrote half of it. Uh, this scene is his favourite bit. Are you serious? He can recite it word for word. Derek, forget the changes. No. If Brownlow's going to put in jokes about me, I think there should be one or two about him. Well, you can't. Come on. To me. Silence! You're under arrest! And you are under a vest! This uh, next bit's very really funny if I say something. So. I've had enough of this lot, Socko. <sighs> what, being in the Empire's police force? Yeah. What's the difference between a superintendent and a supermarket trolley? Now we're doing this one, mate. Goldfish. Hey. Uh, have you heard the one about the uh, two goldfish driving a tank? In a tank? Yes, but getting back, <laughs> getting back to the superintendent, Mr. Brownlow, and the supermarket trolley, the difference is that they're both packing loads of food and drink, but the supermarket trolley's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Yes, you wrote that, did you? <laughs> did you learn enough about the superintendent? How many superintendents no. does it Shame, this is the first routine that's been the slightest bit of music. What are they doing? Would you like to know that, children? Yeah. I'll get Alice to start the scene. The scene. We're going to play something. Well, the Imperial Police Force live in Let's Be Avenue. Oh.
can't say I never warned you. Those beans. Yeah, well, it's too good a chance to miss. Stop it, you two! Rod! Rod! Liz, have you seen Rod? He's meant to be on stage. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that alone. Oh, Come here, you. How did you get in here? Get him out. Let's go outside. Not you. All right, just calm down. There's no problem. No. You do what I say and you don't get hurt. I want Deakin, not you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Music please, maestro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the amazing dancing cow, Ping Pong. Thank you. We do. But how are you going to sing the songs? I'll manage. Look, listen, I'll do it. We don't twank it. Not you. Yeah, but I've been to all the rehearsals, which is more than Rod has. And you're here, which is more than Rod is. Come on, you'll need a costume. Go on. Right, OK. Um, do you want to see Ping Pong do another dance? <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Time alone with you. In a sec, let's just get this sorted. Mm -hmm. We haven't got these skirts. Oh, it can have mine. Now, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, but well, I need Tosh to show me the lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, oh, right please. Don't ask. I won't. Oh, look. M makeup. I need makeup. Oh, come, come on, come on, Paul. Paul, come on. Hey, Paul. What? If Don's twanky, who's the genie of the lamp? No. Why not? Who was it then? Sir. <laughs> Him in the ashtray, Mr. Brownlow. <laughs> no, that wasn't very clever and it wasn't very funny, no. Do that again and you'll call beef. No, we've got a stack of evidence against your brother. Getting Mr. Dickon won't change that. He's not going in that witness box tomorrow. He's not the only witness. He got me banged up for four years. He's not doing that to Jace. <sighs> Dickon won't be coming back here. I know him without his suit, is he? He's coming back. Hey! 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 Stop! Stop! Oh. Hello, madam. Oh. Can we help you? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, now listen. You're gonna do another dance, or I'm gonna sing a song. Yeah. Right, great, you're doing another dance. Music, please, Maestro! Chris, I don't know what you're doing. It's two scenes. 
Can I have a quick account? Who won this for your performance? <laughs> it's done enough of that already. So, what is it? Drink or drugs? Listen, I've told you this gorilla tried to hit me around the head with a baseball bat. Of course he did. Have you got any drugs on no, you? No, no, listen to me. My name is DC Skates. You're a WDC. Now stand still. Why don't you just ask in the theatre, eh? Listen, ask in the theatre. I'm arresting you for being found drunk in a public place. I'll tell you one more time now. <laughs> It's, um... <laughs> who are you? I'll tell you who I am, wishy-washy. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Aunt. Aunt me. Aren't you pleased to see me? I'm not joking. <laughs> no. I am your long-lost auntie. Yes? Your mum's been taken poorly. And she's rather a manky twanky right now. So I've sent manky twanky a hanky and come to look after you and Aladdin. Great. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. It's all right, mate. We found out who you are. About time. You were at the Crown Court today. Yeah. Then you had it on your dancers, you naughty girl. What are you talking about? First you go out nicking dresses, then you do a runner from the court. The judge isn't very pleased with you. Joyce? My name is not Joyce. My name is Detective Constable Scase. And you left your warrant card in your other handbag. Good night, Joyce. Oi! Oi! What about my phone call? Look, I'm due on stage in a minute. Someone's going to come looking for me. Sit down. It's one phone call. I know, I've read case. You want a brief? Or a pair of briefs. Listen, this is very serious. There is an armed criminal by the name of Kieran Harper out to get my DI and I have to let him know. Your DI? Does he wear a frock too? Now my plan is going fine. Here we go. I put the help of the I've got to see the back row of the stalls, but this will do. Is it safe up here? Oh, I'll look after you. Promise. <laughs> You'll get sweet F.A. Now, young lad, do your bidding. Take me to the cave with the entrance hidden. Oh, but Uncle Caves are dark and scary. They're all so full of spiders, hairy. Hold on. Do you know what I'm thinking? It's my mobile phone that's ringing. Rod, I'm on stage. Don't, don't hang up, don't, don't. <laughs> hang on a sec. Matty? Oi! Oh, God! Back in a sec. We'll do a song. Now, come on, get off. I'm going into the cave now, Uncle. You old carbuncle. And you can join in the song. If I'm not wrong. Get on, go on. Which way did he go, Rich? Who? Oh, do you see anyone, Jules? And what do you think? I haven't got a periscope, you know. Who? Oh, what? Oh, just forget it. Just keep moving. Are you sure you're all right? What's going on? Is the crew boost up as the cast? Who was it phoned you? Rod! But the phone broke down. I don't know what you were saying. 
How long before I'm on? In the next scene with Liz. Where is she? But I'll get her. Quick! We're going to sing a song. Do you all know Widow Twenky had a farm? No! Well, no? That's all right, because I've got a copy of the words here. Can you read it? Come on, Liz! You're on! Where's the DI? By the stage. Oh, poor Pay locked us in. He's out to kill the DI. What? Yes, let's put this guy straight. Get off me. Polly, Polly, Polly. Get out of the way. Tell these guys who I am. Tell them who I am. Come on, Joyce. Get ready to raise the back door. Seen blood, so it's dark. Okay, no. Back to the if you know what I mean. Behind you, Gov! Cure it. Twice in one day. You don't make me laugh, funny man. You're ruining my panto! Are you all right? Oh, Liz. Come on. I'm arresting you for assault. Let the uniform deal with it. Did you see three kids in a bloke dressed as Santa? Yeah, we just thrown them out. <laughs> well, what's the problem? They nicked my uniform. Where is my frock for the finale? There's no way you're doing the finale with me. You've missed half the show. I am twanky. Now, where is my costume? If I knew that, do you think I'd be wearing this, Tat? Paul? What? They want you. What am I going to say to them, Tosh? It was a complete disaster. Well, in my script, in a pair of twankies. We'll see. Come on. When I get hold of that Tony Stamp, he's going to lose more than his voice, I can tell you! Rod. <sighs> Cheers. Show business. Yeah, we're better off out of it. Well, we will be. By the time we finish Christique and Scotch. Mm. We'll have to do it again next year.